the last round, round 30 of the square border. I have made round 29, which is just single crochet in each stitch or alternatively um, the other options that I mentioned in the pattern uh, instructions on the website and in the PDF. So let's work our single crochet in the third loop. You've done this before if you have worked one of the black sheep crochet patterns. So you are probably familiar with working in third loops, which as you could have seen here, is just the bump here behind that back loop. And if you are, oops, <laughs> okay, here we go. If you are a right-handed crochet, then that bump will be like I am will be a little bit to the left and if you're left-handed it will be a little bit to the right so that's where you find a third loop and you just work your way into this third loop of every stitch all the way around and then you close with an i would cut the yarn and then close with an invisible close or invisible not really join but yeah you just close into the chain two here to not and instead of a slip stitch to make this invisible <laughs> and that is your square border done then you will have everything you need you've got all the tutorials for the trick here rounds and all the instructions for the easy rounds which you should be able to work if you want to work this border. I hope you enjoyed working this border. And remember that you can add it to other squares who have the same stitch count as the wrapped in chamois squares. And yeah, show me your projects. I love to see what you have done with this border. You can use different colors as well as an option um, for for the stitches or different colors for the popcorns different color for the stitch uh, make it your own i would love to see what you come up with thank you bye